Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Frances and I welcome all my new subscribers and my old. Um, this is actually the first video um, besides the FabFitFun video I did. Um, that was, that box came in that day and I videoed, taped that, <coughs> excuse me, I videotaped that right away and I uploaded it the next day. Uh, but besides that, I haven't made a video in a few weeks. Um, all the videos that you've seen were videos I had made and they were scheduled videos. So in the land of YouTube, uh, it may seem like we're videotaping every day or every week or twice a week. But um, as most of you know who are uh, content creators, we we don't videotape every day. We try to do, sometimes we do three videos, a, you know, at one time and then, you know, life gets busy and that's the only way you can do it. Otherwise, this would be a full-time job. Um, so, so I haven't actually videotaped um, a video in a while and that's why I haven't had an empties up and this is going to be an empties today, but I have to explain myself first. So, um, because I haven't been on, life has continued here and my videos kept going up, but uh, I've had extremely stressful few weeks and I was kind of thankful that I had made those videos ahead of time. So uh, that's something I have learned along the way in YouTube. And actually it was Ronalyn Nipo. Thank you, Ronalyn. And I haven't seen you around much. I, I've noticed that um, you haven't made a video for a couple of weeks and I know you've been busy too. So um, yeah, she, she mentioned to me, you know, it's a great idea, Francis, to make two or three videos ahead of time. And then if life gets in the way, then, you know, it, it appears that your life is still going on. Um, even though you may be having issues in your personal life you know, uh, at least your channel is still active. So um, I'm not going into detail about the stress because uh, it's personal and uh, other than we did have a bit of a scare with Nora, uh, health issue um, for the past two weeks uh, and she's fine, um, everything's fine, Every, the results came back, everything's fine. So I thought this cup, <clears throat> I thought this cup would be very appropriate today. You've got this and <laughs> you've got this. I do, I've got it. <laughs> uh, coffee in the morning, this is my first cup of coffee this morning. And by the way, I have very minimal amounts of makeup on today. I have no foundation on. Um, I'm just using the, um, the concealer um, just in the spots that you know, I need to. Age Rewind, Maybelline Age Rewind. And uh, it's not a very light shade, so I can get away with just dabbing it around and then bouncing it in. And, uh, and, and just a little bit of um, uh, Maybelline uh, blush. So no eyeshadow, a little bit of lipstick, of course. Got to have the lipstick going on. And that's the, uh, that's the, the dupe for Pillow Talk, uh, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. And that was the one that, um, <clears throat> I think that's a Rimmel, and it's by Kate, um, and it's number 08, I think. Uh, that's the lipstick I have on, and it's beautiful. It's, um, it, it's got quite long lasting too, and it was Bella from uh, Beauty on a Budget that, that did a video on a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. And um, it's a pretty good dupe. Uh, and what I do is then I put my um, uh, precious petal on top of it, the infallible precious petal that Kathy from Kathy Beauty Care Chats uh, told me about. And I have repeatedly bought that over and over again. That has a lot, that's a great gloss. That has got really good longevity. When you put it on top of a lipstick, that will last for a long time, providing I don't you know, start eating a lot of greasy food or something like that. But if I'm just going about my day-to-day -day, um, business, um, the lip liner I put on is one I got from Sally's. 
and uh, I'll, list, I'll, li I'll link it below because I think it's called sand and that's the lip liner I put on and then I put on the the, the 08 from Revlon or Rimmel I'm not sure I'll put it down below I put that on and then I actually punch a little bit of the concealer in the middle uh, and that was from Robin so uh, yeah I did that and then I put the the gloss the 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 infallible um, precious petal on top of that and that will last me for probably four hours four to five hours which is pretty good and even as it wears off you can still excuse me you can still see a tinge of it so uh, yeah so that's all I have on today and as you know I've started using retin-a so um, I'm having great results with with the retin-a I can't even tell you my skin it, is for 65 years old my skin has never looked so good i mean yes i still have wrinkles and i still have all these but, but even above my lips they're not as bad as they were um the pigmentation is starting to fade a little bit and i'm using 0.01 percent retinol retin-a retin um, so, and I've had no peeling. I've had tiniest little bit of shedding. I get like, if it, ev if it even is that, honestly, it's just been the tiniest little bit, nothing at all, but no irritation at all. So I'm going to finish this tube and then I need guidance from there because I feel like I should be peeling more and maybe I need a stronger one, but I don't want to rush it. I don't want to rush it because I'm getting good results. Whether I'm peeling or not, I'm actually getting good results. So, you know, that's, and I'm just plowing my way through this because I have no clue what I'm doing other than I watch your, you guys on, on, uh, on YouTube and Natalie, Dawn, Kathy, JD, all of you girls out there that are using Retin-A that have been using Retin-A for years. Um, and you know, I should have started it sooner, but better late than never and yeah I'm happy with my skin I'm happy with how it looks so maybe this is an empties video and I'm rambling on um let's get started it's actually a really good empties video it's about two months worth of empties and there's some interesting things in here and it's not all about the lemon juice <laughs> just saying so let's get started another cup of drink of coffee and then we'll get started it's sitting right here All right, you got this, Francis. You got this, girlfriend. He did he, he. There it is. There is my empties basket. Hmm, two months worth, you say? Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. So let's get busy, as Natalie would say. Let's get busy. <laughs> Gonna put my glasses on. And yes, that's a Dooney sitting right there. That is my Dooney. That is a Zip Zip Dooney uh, in blush. And this is my, um, it's coming up to October, which is a breast cancer month. And that's near and dear to my heart. So just so you know, I have a sister-in-law who is a survivor now. I think it must be eight years. And also a girlfriend that we did a fundraiser for a few years ago and she's doing really well. And so, yeah, yeah, that's, I'm not sure if I'm doing the walk this year, but uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, who talked about these in the shower and them going moldy? Put your hand up, put your hand up. Who is it, who is it, who is it? I went straight to the bathroom and I took it out because, who was it? Was it um, Josephine's daughter? Was it you talked about it? Was it JD? I don't know. I can't remember. I need to write these things down. Um, and I noticed a tiny little bit of mold in mine. Um, and so I'm throwing it out, ladies. <laughs> as soon as I heard that, I went straight to the bathroom. I'm throwing it out. So, um, and I think I'll replace it with one of the, uh, one of the little, spongy ones, you know, like the little poof ones. I think I'll replace it with that, but I love the feel of this. And this was a pretty decent one. I'm not sure where I got it, but actually my husband bought it. 
and yeah there's a bit of mold in there I can see the mold I can see the mold so girls go check your bathroom if you use these they do feel really good on your back you might need to throw it out so that's the first thing second thing is my holy grail and it's the Pecksniff moisturizing hand wash refill and I just refill this into um, the one I have in my bathroom and this one is called um, there's no name on it it's worn off I think it's sandalwood and vanilla <sighs> let's just have a smell it smell that can you smell that when do we get smell a vision Delicious. So there's that. I went through a probiotics and that's a 30 billion and I take these every day. Every day for good gut health. We all need to be taking those. And I went through a Priorin capsules for visibly fuller, stronger and shinier hair. It didn't thicken my hair. It really didn't. Um, it did help my nails and it did make my hair healthier. This is extremely expensive, ladies. So I stopped using it and I'm now using the little, you know, the little jellies, hair, nail, and teeth. I've started using, I've started eating those in the morning. So that, uh, Pantene Sheer Volume Shampoo, thick, full body for 24 hours. One of my holy grails, I use this in the shower when I wash my hair. I only wash my hair about twice, three times a week. Something else I've started to use every day, and my son doesn't believe in it because he said, you just pee it out basically. And it's these little vitamin C um, fizzy tablets. You just put them in like a quarter cup of water and then you drink it. And I do one of these every day to ward off colds and boost my uh, immune system. So it tastes good and uh, tastes like orange, fizzy orange, fizzy orange so yeah I've started taking those he doesn't think they do any good but I do this is a utterly do you remember these this utterly smooth body cream greaseless stainless lightly scented and it's made in the USA who remembers that ladies who remembers that I found this in the back of the bottom of the bathroom drawer in my husband's bathroom and he's just come in the door so I'm doing a video oh, sorry. that's okay do you want to come and join me no. <laughs> so yeah I found that in the bottom of the drawer and that's what's left and it smells disgusting so I'm throwing it out he just never finished it and it's probably five years old so that's going in the garbage something else I just finished was another probiotic and that was a different one. I decided to try the PharmaSave one, um, which is the brand of the pharmacy I go to. And um, it seems to be doing the same job as the other one, and this is half the price. So yeah, I've had no issues. I finished a Colgate Sensitive Pro Relief toothpaste. I got every last drop out of it. And not bad, not bad. They're now a lighter shade of yellow because of coffee, of course. Um, I finished the Simple Wipes for the eyes makeup. I finished a Simple Wipes for the face. You know, they're always in my... And I finished my Sugar Scrub. This is a local company. Um, this is uh, in the fragrance One in a Melon, and that smells a little delicious. So I'm gonna get another one of those. That smells good, and that's in a um, body scrub. Body scrub for the shower. It's in glass, I'm gonna keep that glass jar. Um, finished another one of these. I finished my Pelu Passionate Beauty Moisturizer. And I scraped every last drop out of that. Every last drop out of that. That Pello uh, company is amazing. And I'm going to link their channel down below. <clears throat> if you ever are in the market for really good skincare, this stuff is really good. And this is the second time around they have reached out to me to try their product. 
Um, it used to be called um, Nudu. It's now Pelu. So I finished that. <coughs> <I f> <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I finished an allergy relief, and that's Equate, and that's one from Walmart, and it's allergy season here right now. Um, I'm allergic to ragweed, so I just finished that. My husband uses this in the shower, and it's the Dove uh, Foam Body uh, Wash. So he finished another one of those. And this I brought back. I brought several of these back um, from England. And if you see it anywhere, I've tried to find it in Walmart. I've tried to find it in... Um, Maybe Target might have it. I'm going to see if I can find it. I know you can find the brand, but I'm looking for the cashmere. And it's delicious. It smells amazing. Finish that. I didn't finish the Nizarol because um, it's very hard on your scalp. And um, I have very sensitive scal scalp. So I didn't finish it. I'm throwing it out. This is something that is related to food, and um, it's the Calorie Wise Craft Sun Dried Tomato and Oregano, and uh, it's a dressing, salad dressing. I use this for my roasted potatoes. Um, chop up the potatoes, uh, mix in some herbs and spices, a little bit of olive oil, and about a quarter of a cup of this, and mix it all together and roast them in the oven and you will not be sorry you tried this. It is delicious. My whole family love this. Um, and I've also finished the toner in the pillow as well, which was excellent. Finished that. I still have a little bit of the um, nighttime moisturizer left because you don't use as much as that of that. And a vitamin D3. that I finished my cystane gel thank you Kathy these work great they keep me sleeping all night and I finished a little Neutrogena um, sunscreen and that's 70 I also finished an oxyclean laundry gel stick this takes this is magic stuff this takes out all the stains from Nora's little bibs and like her little t-shirts when she gets food on them and you just pre pre apply this let it um, sit for a while and then uh, throw it in the laundry and this works really well um, have we just finished an old spice pure sport high endurance antiperspirant and deodorant can't beat the smell of old spice this is something reminiscence of it. So good. Okay, we're getting to the nitty-gritty. Here is um, a lot of products here for my face. Uh, this is called La Octane, and it is a oil, and I've had this now for probably two years, and it's been the best thing I ever had. It was gifted to me. Um, it, it is worth about, I believe, about $130 U.S., so it's, you know, for me to purchase it here, it would be $150, so I won't be repurchasing it. But if you're in the market for some, for a beautiful oil, look it up. I will link it down below. And if I can find, um, find where to purchase it, I'll link that down below as well. It's divine. It's just beautiful. A few drops of this and the smell is incredible. I don't even want to throw this out. It was, it was just so divine. Okay, a um, couple of food items. Coffee. Coffee, um, this is the coffee I use. Um, it's pre-ground. It is the La Vase, and it's the Rosa. And this is what I use. I just put it in the refillable pods, and I use it in my, um, in my Starbucks or Keurig, whatever coffee machine you have. And it gives you a really nice creme on the top. This coffee is delicious. And anyone know of HP sauce? You Brits will know all about this. 
uh, it's a brown sauce and it's like ketchup only it's brown and it's got a nice little spice to it you can put it on steak you can put it on um, fried bread you can put it on sausages um, hamburgers anything and it's delicious last but not least an indulgence of mine and it's called McVitie's Hobnobs so if you're British you'll know what that is and it's um it's like a digestive cookie with decadent chocolate on top that my friends is it and this is a long video so um i'll cut it short now so thank you for watching um i appreciate you all so much and um i will see you all on my next video have a great weekend bye what do i always say don't let anyone ever tell your sparkle bye